Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Rimworld. I'm recording this episode slightly earlier than I normally would, so there's only a few comments, not kind of the usual amount I have to work from. I can tell you for a fact that I've got enough comments from people uh, on, in, on, in the YouTube comment section in Discord. Uh, someone tweeted me about it, that apparently I should be using the shuttle, and I'm an idiot for not doing it sooner, because apparently the, the fuel to produce is very, very cheap, and apparently it doesn't need much of it either. So that's what we'll be doing. Everyone's very angry at me um, across various platforms, which I know I've done, definitely done something wrong at that point. For not basically taking the shuttle over to the psychic drone and taking it out, especially when we're actually armed now. So that is going to be our first goal of today. I'm thinking I should install the shuttle and kind of see how much fuel it can take, maybe a maximum. Um, to be fair, we could install it in... No, we need to build a hangar bay. Let's build a hangar bay first and foremost. Start getting a bit more of the space stuff underway. Like I said, I think a hangar over here is kind of cool. Um, so we'll do kind of a semicircle, I guess, of, of hangar. Um... That one goes out from the center, correct? No, 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 it's the other one. Uh, that one goes out from the center, correct? Yeah, there we are. Um, let's do something back here, kind of like... I'm thinking kind of like that. No, that's too small. Kind of like... Kind of like one of those. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. We'll do one of those. Oh, is that a bit too... Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Bear with me. Um, instead, then, let's go for something like... Yeah, that's better. That's not too close over there. One thing I meant to mention, actually, I completely forgot to say. Um, the insects did a lot of mining for us, too. They were very kind. Uh, we ended up with something like a 1,000 steel. Um, 2,000 steel, according to that, but that is including some of the stuff over there, which obviously we're not going to risk our lives to get. But about 1,000 steel, about 30 or so components. They mined us some uranium. They mined us some uh, plasteel, too, which our people have already grabbed there. And while I was setting up, we had meteorites spawning, and we had meteorites falling in a way I've never seen before. We had a jade meteorite fall, and then onto that fell a silver meteorite. And I've never seen two meteorites actually land on top of each other so perfectly before. So there we go. Um, we would have had a perfect, like, basically the, the, the biggest size meteorite of jade you could have possibly have, only for its core to be made of silver. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's get working on this straight away then, huh? So we'll get, uh, I, I guess we'll build a kind of outer wall for it as well. Why not? Or is that a bit too much effort for what's going to be quite a small hangar bay? Yeah, you know, I think that's alright. I was going to say we'll sandstone wall around the edge of it, but it doesn't matter too much. It's for parking a ship in a way that's defended from meteorites, airstrikes, whatever else. Oh, we also got um, survival pods dropping down too here, um, which is basically just added by, I think it's vanilla events expanded, I'm not entirely sure. Gives us an auto pistol and some hyperweave stuff. So for us, where we don't have any weapons, that's actually quite nice. I also built, well, I queued up a couple of solar generators, but they built it while I wasn't looking there because our batteries are... Not doing so well. Since we lost the wind turbines, we do actually have the generator hooked up there. The um, the geothermal generator. I don't know exactly quite what I've built, but I've built something that's quite clearly expensive. Um, something to do with the... Was it the sprinklers? Oh, 250 watts a piece. That's 1,000. Shit, I didn't consider that. Okay, fair enough. Turns out the sprinklers are actually quite power hungry. That and our, our research room that we've got down there. That's kind of understandable, really. What do we need for that? We need somebody to actually come over and build the freaking thing, Mondo. If, if that's no problem, my friend. What I'm going to do... Oh... We'll deal with that in a second, too. Um, what I was going to suggest is we'll get this built, and then we'll start looking into those psychic foil helmets just as a temporary bollocks. To stop stuff like this happening all the damn time. Psychic emitters and insects, I could have named this series. Right, so let's go for Although that's not really got the same ring to it. Let's go for um, uh, psychic foil weaving or something like that. There it is. Uh, what am I missing now? Hello? Uh, what am I missing? Missing what? Missing nothing. You're lying. Is it because it's not powered up yet? Ah, there you go. Boom. Right. Let's take another go. So, Psychic Foil Weaving, it's going to be 12,200 research in total. Quite expensive. Uh, unless I've done the maths wrong there, at which point it's either more or less expensive than how much I said. You can work that out. Shouldn't take us too long to crack that out, and then we'll get ourselves... Hopefully some Psychic Foil Helmets, unless they require Plasteel, at which point we won't do that. We could probably put down now as well, now that I think about it. Uh, let's do something like... Production, and some... Fabrication bench. Look at that. And then I think we've got enough steel to also put down another one of those. I cancelled that last time. Didn't have any components. Didn't have any steel. Wanted to build guns. Obviously, I think that comes as a slightly higher priority than a fabrication bench. But now we're in, we're in a pretty good situation. Power is still our biggest concern. So what I'm thinking is somewhere, I saw it with my eyes, I did. There is nuclear power. There we are. That's what I want. Uh, now, as I recall, this nuclear power plant, unlike the one from... Oh. Oh, dear. You're in the middle of it, aren't you? Be very, very quiet. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I don't remember now in hindsight. Right, that's it. Uh, this nuclear power plant, for what I remember, uses um, uranium fuel, but it's really, really inefficient compared to the vanilla expanded one. However, unlike the vanilla expanded one, it doesn't require cooling, and it doesn't require the other thing. 
radiation. It, 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 the, the, the vanilla expanded one puts out a lot of radiation. Um, if we could use the vanilla expanded one instead. We'd have to dig out a fairly sizable area to obviously avoid the radiation poisoning, and we'd have to research the pillars. But as a temporary thing, just to charge up our batteries, and then we could turn it off. Or just to put a little bit of fuel in it to charge up the batteries, and then again, let it burn out and not refuel it. This wouldn't be a bad idea, because during night times right now, I mean, bear in mind we haven't got the verification bench on yet, that our power drains before the solar panels come back on. So I want to try and avoid that. Guess we could just stick down one of these again. How much how much gas have we got left? 200. Because we're only using 100 there and 100 there. 200. Yeah, okay. So if we put one of those down as well. I mean, it's another 1,000 watts. I want to avoid building this if possible. But it's only 4,800. What's the other nuclear power from Vanilla Expanded? Nuclear power. This one? 5,250. But we'll also need the um, pillars as well. Uh, what is it called? Like a frozen... That's it. Frozen column. Oh, we've already got it. Did I already research that? Oh, what a genius. Uh, okay. Shame I can't remember it. Right, let's put down... So, these frozen columns are incredible. Um, they basically just emit a blue light and, as it says there, uh, they emit a blue light and keep rooms down, but only to minus 15. Um, so basically, you could replace your air conditioning. It's uh, more expensive in terms of power and components to run than air conditioning, um, but takes up, I guess, one square less. Actually, what are the benefits of that than air conditioning now that I'm saying that? I mean, air conditioning can cool rooms down below freezing. Um, we've used it for that before, and it does also say uh, in the description there it can create a walk freezer. That's another comment I got that's saying that the air conditioning didn't work like that, but apparently it does. Um, or I think it does, anyway. Okay. Uh, why are we using those columns, then? Because the columns, as I recall, use something like 800 watts each. If we can do the same thing, but with 220 watts, why the fuck would I ever build a column? Maybe we'll put it behind the prison. That way, if the prisoners escape, we can just flood it with radiation and kill them dead. No, no, no. The Walk Around series is coming up next series. Stay tuned. <laughs> right, let's, um... Where would we put it? If I had the choice. So this is going to be the hospital. I don't want to put it too far in this direction. I guess we could put it behind this room. Maybe behind this room? Yeah, behind this room makes a bit more sense. Because that way if it does go into meltdown, or we decide to overfuel it, and it does extend out beyond the room that we've dug out, it would only affect maybe a couple of refineries, which won't we just turn them off? No one's going to be stood in a stockpile, dropping things off for long enough to get affected by radiation sickness, if that makes sense. So I think, firstly, give me back my square. Um, I think we'll mine this area out. How big is it? I don't know. I haven't researched yet. Okay, let's let them finish that first and foremost. We got a lot on our plate. Maybe I shouldn't rush ahead too far. Tim, ah. Uh, come on. Okay. Chuckles, Don. Prison, please. I need to set up a second defensive position for the... Um, you can bind it to keybinds, can't you? The only problem is I use my numpad keys for controlling my recording, so can't really do that. Um, but we, I was thinking if, if you weren't, you know, if you weren't in a situation like me, you could actually set one up for the prison separately. That'd be kind of fun. Bit, bit more of a useful utility key there. Timmy, you are going to get absolutely glowed, my friend. I should really bring these doors back a level, shouldn't I? I could bring them back to, like, there. That way, if they bust them down, our boys have a bit more range. Because right now, he's going to struggle to see him. Yeah, let's do that at some point. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Bring those doors back there, and then we'll leave all this open. Even put a couple of turrets down. Something like that. I don't know. Um, and then we'll move the doormats to there instead. Eventually, we'll concrete over this. Turn it, like I said, into an outdoor area. Get rid of these solar generators, because they can enjoy the outdoors a little bit. We'll put um, hoop stone or some sort of recreation outside. That way, it fulfills the outdoors need and the recreation need in one fell swoop. Poor little Timmer. Who gave this prisoner armor? There we are. Problem solved. Right, Mondo, he is all yours. How's he doing? Bleeding out in seven hours. This time, also strip him. Sorry, strip him first. Mondo, get over here. You can get over here to try and tend. I believe we've actually got herbal medicine now. Look at that. 106. Dr. Don might be his redemption arc because now he's... What's wrong with you? Oh, you got some bruises, some bites there. That's fine. Um, Dr. Don's actually got medicine to work with now. To be fair, he's got 7.38. I mocked him for his bad medical skill, but he's actually really redeemed himself. Right, Mondo, this is all yours now, my friend, and you two can go and have the day off. Which, I mean, get back to work. That 70% with regular old herbal medicine on a floor in a dirty prison. That's incredible. Mondo, you are the, the best doctor I've ever seen. Actually, in theory, he could be the best doctor we've ever seen. If we train him up to 20, double passion, plus master medic, which gives that bonus chance, plus the scalpel, he could potentially be the best medic we've ever had. Except for, I guess, people with the crazy barnics that we built in other series. Those guys who are a little, little more... A little, little better, in hindsight. Oh, shit. Oh, now I thought... Okay, so I specifically installed the Miss Grobots mod because I wanted a high-tech series, but one where we couldn't build colonists because by design, any robotics mod is ridiculously overpowered because it lets you gain more colonists and remove colonists as you need it. 
especially the Androids mod, uh, not Android Tears, but the Androids mod that lets you fully design them, the one where we built Robo Mummy. That one is very overpowered, because then you can also decide how powerful you want them to be, how good their skills are, you can get the opportunity to re-roll. Just by pure RimWorld game design, they are the most overpowered mod you could ever build, because colonists are generally your limiting factor. They're also your game over. If you run out of colonists, that's it, you lose. I installed the Miss Robot specifically so we wouldn't be able to build colonists, but now it turns out we can basically build colonists. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's build some colonists. <laughs> <laughs> um, couple of haulers, couple of cleaners. It's not like the other Miss Robots mods. Uh, it's not like Miscellaneous My. It's not like the um, the other uh, Miss Robots Plus Plus, where you can build the Omni bots and the other crazy cleaning bots and everything else like that. These are just basic haulers and cleaners. I haven't got a problem with that. These ones are also extremely flimsy. So a single robot could destroy them. No problem. We'd have wasted a shitload of components. So what, what happened to that wild woman? Did she actually survive? Uh, I can't see a corpse. So either she survived, or she's been eaten so much that she didn't even leave a blood stain, which is uh, impressive. They've, they've licked her up off of the concrete. Um, wildlife. What? Wildlife? Nothing. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. That's not a good sign, is it? Anim animals? No. Well, that's um frightening. Hang on, you can grow devil strand in these planters, huh? I was. I don't know what fertility these actually give. I don't think they have. I mean, if you could grow a thing in it, I assume that means you can grow in it. I, I assume it won't let you plant a plant that you can't grow. Does that make sense? Um, in that case, fuck the rice. Bear in mind, our freezer currently looks a little bit something like this. Uh, I feel like it's a bit unnecessary to grow any more crops. Actually, we should put a trade beacon in there, shouldn't we? Uh, give me one of those. Let's stick them in here. There we go. Shot coming in hot. Where is it? There we are. I just actually, funnily enough, I, I just moved this hill route down to here because I thought... The, 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 the soil quality is identical, but this one's just closer to the base. So, so you know, growing all this stuff. Um, what have we got then? Let's take a look. Let's get Mondo on hand. Uh, get him over here. Professor Mondo, run. Who are we looking at? Cherry. Ursht. And Mans... M M Mansnovic, I think. Uh, what are you... Free mind. What is that trait? So the body's the only one on the vessel for their mind. She doesn't care about the age, gender, or looks of a body. That's very nice of you. Botanist. Uh, that's good. Oh, but they got zero plant skills. Some fucking botanist. Um, you got lazy and kind on top of that. So you're not great, but eight shooting with a minor passion could train him to be a soldier. Um, what are we looking at here? Eleven melee, fisherman, teetotal, one soul. Um, cloning is immoral, basically. Uh, nibbler, they eat food slower. And teetotal, they're actually not bad. Again, another potentially good soldier there. Cooking for double passion, potentially just get him doing like butchering crap meals oh you're good underground a hard worker iron man too smart they learn faster but they get a bigger mental break their skills are incredible 82 you generally find that the older characters are more highly skilled probably because they're older um in that case cherry is my top priority followed by urst followed by mansnovic uh let's go like this then uh stabilize urst Keg Denter, Capture Cherry. And I know what I said. Capture Cherry. Uh, and then we'll get someone on hand. Digging out compacted machinery. So you're up digging out the Shussel area. We'll get you ready to capture Erst when Mondo is done with the with the uh, done with the treatment. And putting out 14 hours, that'll do. Capture. And then you uh, stabilize Mansnovic. Actually, I suppose we could just rescue Mansnovic. Or capture, sorry. You know what I meant. Let's get these bloody corpses out here as well. Sewing area. Why are you doing that rather than researching? I don't understand. 10 intellectual. It's not a skill thing. No, she's got 12 intellectual now. I don't know, basically. Um, I mean, I know it's recreation time, so maybe she's chosen for the fun of it to sew the farm. Um, Dr. Don. Did I say? Oh, it's Dr. Chuckles. Thank you, Dr. Chuckles. I think we'll actually... I think we'll draft Don as a full-blown doctor. I think he deserves the promotion, to be honest with you. Uh, Kaczynski is a weapon for you, my friend. This is good. We're almost fully armed now. It feels good to have a fully armed colony for once. I was thinking about some other stuff too. Specifically, beds in the... Or, or things to make the prison a bit more comfortable. So beds. Uh, we could put a dresser. Actually, if we put a dresser there... No, 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 Let's put one... Put it there. Will it cover the whole room? Well, I guess it must. If it, if it can reach that side. The only question is, can it reach this one down here? It should do there, right? And then I'm thinking a wardrobe. Um, there. That should hopefully cover the whole room, and then we just put end tables between each one, and we put beds across the whole thing, right? 
Um, don't know if we need that many beds to start off with, I will admit. So we'll just do that. We've only got four prisoners, so we'll only build four beds, and then we can build extra if we need the overflow. And the thing I was really thinking of doing was, firstly, I've, I've started laying some sterile tiles. We're out of silver, but we did get a big old silver meteorite drop in here. So if we could go ahead and mine all that and get through this jade, this worthless jade in the way of my precious silver, uh, and then we could get all this done. More importantly, they've changed the recipe for hospital beds now, haven't they? So it's steel, components, and cloth. Components we've got plenty of. Not, a mass not enough to you know, massively invest into a hospital area. I've actually already planned them out. My bad. Um, oh, they already got the resources in. Oh, shit. Never mind. Okay, that's fantastic. Mondo, are you our best builder? Uh, construct. Don. Governor Don. Who's asleep on the floor? Why? Don, we've got... Don, we've got beds. Don? Don's got a bed, apparently. Don's, Don's got a... Don, what are you doing? Excuse me. No sleeping on the floor. Oh, my God. They are cheap. Ciala just came over, and, uh, you know, everyone's got their before-bed rituals. Uh, hers is apparently making uh, uranium fuel pods. Making uranium fuel pods. 100. For 5 uranium, 1 steel? Christ, that's cheap. Okay, uh, I guess you're alright then, comment section. You were correct. I should have done this a lot sooner. So the shuttle bay is more or less ready. It's enough of an area to defend the shuttle from, um, you know, meteors, uh, mortars. I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about mortars. Now, I said do this 10 times because I thought, you know, we need a lot of fuel. But in hindsight, I don't think that's the case at all. Um, maybe, maybe suspend that. Maybe suspend that. We've got 600 uranium fuel pods. I don't know quite, again, how many we need, but uh, it seems like it's quite significant. I'm starting to get a little stuttery, I will admit, with these many bloody insects. Um... Yeah, it's starting to get a little laggy. Now, I don't know where I'm going to draw the line between... Accepting this as a difficult, uh, as, as a difficult thing to deal with and drawing the line at it quite literally liking the game out. Right now it's still playable, but you can see there are those micro stutters from where I assume the game right now is having to process 51 mega spider, 68 spellipedes, 62 mega scarabs, 5 royal mega spider, 3 uh, mega peas, and 1 queen. It's quite intense for the game to obviously path all these things around. Oh, and a giga locust as well, or 2, or how many we've got there, 3, 4. Um... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'd love to deal with that naturally, because it's obviously part of the intended difficulty. But if it ends up lagging the game, I am going to make the executive decision to remove them. 600. Why is that 600? Oh, 600 uranium. Oh, well, shit, that's convenient. Okay. Uh, refuel is one of the highest priorities, so they'll probably get on that immediately. Matter weaving is done. The last thing to do then is the... Why are you not researching? Hang on. You're still not researching. Go. Hocus. And research. Why can't you do it? It's like this has been... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Flick the, flick the switch. Is it in the area? It is in the area. I don't know why she's not researching. Oh my god. Where is that? Oh, it's up there. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh, well, thank god for that. Oh, a soothe. Thank you. Um, hi, male. Soothe female. <laughs> my god, what a world. Right, let's go and turn it on and off. See if that kind of soft reboots it digging it compacts it still why uh no hey how about no i'm gonna take away all of her jobs and see if we can hard reset her because this doesn't seem like it's working to me um no hauling no cleaning no fishing no refueling no rearming no finishing no basic no hauling no bed rest no firefighting or patienting now what are you gonna do wandering Okay, there's something definitely wrong there with the fact that she now can't research. Uh, like a health problem? Silink. My grandparent died. I don't think that would be enough to stop you researching. What's going on there then? Okay, well, let's take the research away and try it again. Oh, I know why she can't do it. Because this computer's only hooked up to one of the bloody benches. Oh, man, I didn't even consider that. Okay, well, we'll put that there for now. But we're not going to get the multi-analyzer going for a long-ass time. Um, who can deliver that? Mondo, get over here. Uh, Constantine is already on it, apparently. Or, or not. Hey? <laughs> Timmer, you again? We're not fucking around anymore, Timmer. For God's sake, he's injured all of the prisoners again. God, this fucking guy. Uh, you got you got low medicine now. I'm going to teach you a lesson, old man. Dr. Get, what's wrong with him? Why is he constantly so sad? Oh, his mother's died. Uh, and Amy C, the fearsome warden that she is, decided that uh, the best solution to our problem is to cut his leg clean off. <laughs>
I'm not sure that was wise. Okay, well, if he dies, he dies. This guy's been nothing but a fucking troublemaker. Oh, no. Well, to be fair, we survived another heat wave. Oh, the, the last heat wave with absolutely no problems. So I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, we could put in... Could put in one of those columns. Or alternatively, I did take apart the air conditioning. I should have just reinstalled it, shouldn't I? We'll probably be fine. We'll see how it goes. We've got plenty of resources to build, I think. No, we don't. Oh, dear. Um, I was going to say, we've got plenty of resources to build some sort of uh, cooling if we need it. But evidently, that's not <laughs> not the case. Okay. Um, would you like a gun? Deal with your prisoners maybe a bit more humanely with a high-powered rifle rather than with a sword. The first of our robots, I see. Thank you, Chuckles. Very cool. Um, I guess we'll base the robots in the stockpile then. That way, their base camp is also kind of their final goal as well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that means one too many insects. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Masterwork what? Wooden bed. Oh, that's nice. Good for the... I mean, it'll keep the prisoners happy, so can't really complain too much, huh? There we go. Um, I'm going to be taking that, if you don't mind. Uninstall and uninstall. This will move that down there. I don't think it'll make any difference, but we might as well. Oh, seriously? You lasted two seconds, you shit. Oh. I didn't limit it to an area. <laughs> Brilliant. First level in robotics right there. Uh, let's go for Chuckles. If you could... Uh... Give me a little bit of reparation on that robot. Not reparation, but repairing. Uh, repairing Asian, that would be even better. My god, the game does not like this many insects, huh? There's got to be a way we can abuse the pathfinding to... Like some IEDs. Because they're always going to run along the point of least resistance. Which in this case is the side of the river. They'll never run through the river... If there is a path they can follow that isn't in the river. For example, even if they run all the way down here, they'll still run across these blocks because it saves the minorest, minorest, the most minor time difference. IEDs, perfect. I don't think anyone's ever said that before. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We so rarely build these, we might as well make good use of them. That way, we can intentionally bait them out. We lay a track of IEDs, hopefully where they won't see us, as long as we keep friendly fire turned off to a minimum, or we can lay them just down here and across here. Then we go in, we shoot one, we run back to the base as fast as we can. They'll run over the IEDs, blow a shitload of them up, but they'll probably turn around again before they get to our base. I'm not liking this. This is this is bad. Um, yeah, fill, fill that in. Stop that. Now, we do have smarter construction, so we're going to put it to the test here by doing something Rimod normally hates, and that's a straight line of... Blocks in a one by one. All 600. Siala, get a rifle. Don, get a rifle. Chuckles, get a rifle. Garbage, maybe not you. <laughs> garbage, you stay, you stay put. Right, let's send them off. Uh, you know what? Garbage. 6.71. Garbage and everything. Uh, not so much in shooting. Keg dents. Do we have a better gun for you? Uh, contents. No, we don't. I get garbage and keg denter to swap guns, but that's all right. Go on. Up to the ship with you guys. Let's send you away. So the question is, how far can I send it? So, uh, hang on, let's just get him over there first. Right, so, we got the squad. So load group of one. We want to load anybody with a freaking gun, basically. So you, 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 you. This might be overkill. It does say there's a mech cluster. No such thing as overkill. Um, meals. We might want to scope it out. We might want to take it slow. Let's take some meals with us. Uh, let's also take some medicine in case things go a little bit tits up, which with my operations, they tend to. Uh, perfect. My operations, almost as bad as Dr. Don's. Let's get to work then, people. Loading is now your highest priority. Contingency plan. Should we make some more fuel and send them with a bit more fuel? I feel like it's not a bad idea. Yeah, good idea, brain. Uh, well, if they run out of fuel, that means we're going to need another six. Are they going to run out of fuel? What's the distance? Distance you can fly, ship. I need to know. I don't, it does, it's not going to tell me. It's a... What are we waiting for? Oh, the last of the... Fuck it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see now, won't we? It's not as if we're going to be caught with our pants down when I'm... Oh, come on, Cake Denter. Right, go. Perfect. Right, how far can you fly? Some pod launchers are under a roof. Bollocks. Hover mode? Uh, we can't because there's people in it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so we need to drive it from under the mountain, then load the people. Otherwise, it ends up uh, being a little bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. There we are. Right. Uh, sh ship. There we are. Draft. Bring it over here. Fake down the spaceship. That's hilarious. Right. Okay. Park. And toggle hover mode. Reload. No, put that down. Wait. Stop that. Ciala. 
Back in line. Right. Okay. Uh. What? What? You're telling me it costs 500 fuel to put it into fucking hover mode? All right. Back to work. Finding goods trader. Hey, that might be what we need. Um, right, I need you to speak to those guys. What have they got for me? I'll take uranium. I'll take your plastic. I'll take your steel. What can we trade you? Uh, not a lot. Oh, dear. Um, 500. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, wait. We can't afford this at all. What's expensive? Plastic is expensive. Drop the uranium. Actually, I kind of like some uranium because we're doing a lot with uranium. Um, let's buy what we can. So what's that? Like another... Uh, let's buy 82. Way out. Uh, what I meant to say was 112. Closer. Better, closer, warmer. Let's just take it manually. There we are. Um, sell them some components. We do have 45, although that's always going to be helpful. J Billiards Table, that's obviously on the agenda. I'm not going to forget about that. I think that's all right. I'm not buying sandstone blocks, the one thing we actually bloody have. Incredible. Wait, maybe they're not buying it because we don't have any in the stock pile. Why would you not buy sandstone blocks? Okay, never mind then. Psychic foil weaving is done. Now we'll find out if we can protect ourselves against any other psychic. Now, better mind, we won't get psychic soothe. But given that we've had one psychic soothe in the entire campaign so far, I'm not going to miss that. Uh, let's go production then. The question is, does the matter weaver require advanced components? Yes, bollocks. We've got two? Do we now? You're lying to me. What, what do you think we've got two advanced components for? Hey, two advanced components. We quite clearly don't. Um, I'll put one down and I'll see what the game thinks it's playing at. Uh, we'll move these back into here, I guess, seeing as we've already got the uh, we've got the stone cutting station or the the tool rack, I should say, in here as well. So that's fine. Bring that stuff in for more of the uh, more of the unskilled work, you know, kind of the basic stuff. IEDs are finished. Okay, I'm thinking linkables now. So let's go uh, cabinets. Yeah, that's a good idea. So there's that cabinet. There's a mechanics cabinet somewhere. Uh, God, your eyes are probably better than mine if you can see it. Wow. Uh, could be somewhere along there. I assume they'd all be together. What a mistake I've made. Thank God I don't remember what it's called. Mechanic cabinet, and then there's the scientist cabinet after that. Um, scientist cabinet, I think that's quite a lot of research though, isn't it? Scientist cabinet, 4,500. Ooh. And it, well, to be fair, it does unlock advanced fabrication along the way. So, we'll probably just go for that. We're going to need it pretty soon, right? We can make our own advanced components at that point if we don't have enough for the matter weaver. Um, so what I've decided to do, just in case of any more accidents, like the ship trying to take off, but actually it turns out, haha, got ya. Uh, it takes up 600 fuel to go into hover mode. Just in case, I'm also going to load a bunch of fuel onto it as well. Right, so we've got you guys, um, you're running fuel pods, take the lot if we can just about manage it. Yes, we can. And 15 meals and the herbal medicine, go. I'm glad they see the caravan setting saved now. That's nice, isn't it? I love that these guys, rather than helping uh, load the ship, are just wandering around in the field, waiting for Hocus to do uh, literally everything. <laughs> Why do they do that? That's so strange. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just wait for Hocus then. You guys stand around. That's okay. Nothing to worry about. Oh, thank you, Hauling Bot. Or not. Oh, yeah, thanks, Hauling Bot. You were worth the resources. We'll just put this dining room right there by the bedrooms. Are we good? No, we're still not good. What are we missing? Who? Oh, now who's taken over? Ah, oh, now I see you've taken over hauling the stuff over. What about the meals? We're not going to put any meals in there? This is bizarre. I don't know why they... Oh, there we are. We're just waiting on Ciala now. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Launch. How far can we go? I mean, it's a shuttle, so you kind of expect uh, everywhere, roughly. Um, we're not going that far, so we'll, we'll head over to... This is the right one, is it not? Dropping an edge. Go, little spaceship. Oh, here we are. Well, that was fast. Jesus, that doesn't mess around, huh? So you, don't, you don't watch it fly around on the map. You just... Psychic Pulse Tortoise. That was the danger. That was the danger. You're joking. It said there was a mechanoid cluster. What? My... Oh, Psychic Droner. There's two different ones. Oh. Don, are you alright? Don seems to have <laughs> fallen out of the ship and then immediately gone to sleep. Well, that's okay. Um, how much fuel we got left in the ship? Hover mode. Talk about hover mode. How much we got? Fucking hell. So dropping it out of hover mode. Wow, so it's 600 fuel per journey. 
Sweet Jesus. Okay. Well, thank God I, I made as much as I did then. Do until X, where X is 600. Christ, that seems like a bug more than anything, right? Just just turn, taken out of hover mode drains almost all the fuel. Bizarre. Let's go beat the shit out of this thing. No more psychic waves. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Yeah, let's take that with us. Is that six advanced components? To be fair, we did have to spend a shitload of fuel to get over here, so that's not too bad. Right, go on then. Get to work. Heat wave is over. That's good. Didn't even realize there was a heat wave. Uh, right, uh, Mondo, if you could do me a favor, uninstall that. Let's get out of here. Watch out for that turtle. It's going to get you. Any second now. Any any minute now. <laughs> um, I guess we'll try and refuel the ship. I hope we've got enough fuel to get back now. I don't know how much fuel a journey takes, but obviously to drop it from regular mode to hover mode, it's it's all of it. It'll always consume it on the way back. So we'll take it back to the base. Let's get everything loaded. Take it back to the base. Unload all this crap. And then, oh, it's caravan mass. We don't care about that too much, right? Yeah, maximum mass is 1,000 kilograms. Really get back in. Caravan will be a mobile. Don't care. Right, everyone in. I think I accidentally said to take the corpses with me. Didn't mean to do that, but we can make a lavish meal or two. Right, on the road again. Here we go. Back home. Yeah, that's a bit bizarre that it drains it. Uh, again, I think that's probably just a bug more than anything else. Goodbye, little shuttle. Well, that's one down. We do need to come back for the other psychic thing, though. And we're home. Here we are. Boom. Helpful. Okay, well, let's get this unloaded. Um, is that because... Hang on. Oh, that's why. It's because in hover mode, it has 100 fuel maximum. 12 days worth. So when you take it out of hover mode, it immediately drains all the other fuel in there. Well, that's a bit silly. Again, I feel like it's probably a bug more than anything else. Right, Psyche Caminator, where do we want to put that? I'm thinking just in the middle of the base, like right there. Everybody at some point is going to cross over this area, aren't they? If we put it there, it covers the whole dining room. Just keeps them a little bit happier. I mean, the workroom or the research lab would be ideal, but that way everybody's going to get blasted by it at some point. There we go. Who are we waiting on? Don? And if you're ready, Moira's going into a murderous rage. Melee attacking cargo shuttle. You're welcome to try. Uh, 40% chance. Shit, I knew that was going to happen. Um, Moira is slightly armored. Who else we got nearby? Amy C. The, the, the terrifying Amy C. Get you down here. Oh, Moira's, Moira's done. Okay. Rescue. Have oh, we got a doctor here? I think the problem is I sent all my good doctors away. Uh, you chilled out pretty fast. Oh, frail. Frail on a bad back. Doesn't take much to knock him down at that point. A strong breeze, generally. Let's get out of here. Pod group isn't... Who's missing? Oh, uranium fuel. 88. It's only 88 fuel. How much we got? 412. Okay, no, we do need that. Um, Kaczynski? Uh, can you can you load that for me? It's only 12 more fuel. So a lot of messing around with the ship and reloading the whole bloody thing. We finally landed. And this is what we're up against. Now, it looks quite imposing. And I think if we tried to fight them, you know, us versus them, we're going to get wiped out for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, they've got lancers. They've got these three assaulters with internal charge blasters, which will kill us dead. Bear in mind, nobody's armored. Um... Obviously, the charge blaster is awful. Lances with charge lances is terrible. What I've done, I noticed they had a scully wagon. I thought, if this works, it's extremely big brain, but I wanted to test it. I claimed the door, and then the scully wag popped it open, which means we can now basically fly. I'm hoping this works. Because <laughs> if this doesn't work, Mondo's dead. I'm thinking we do the one... Fucking hell, they've got range. Oh my god, it's that thing. Okay, I'm thinking. Bear with me here. Mondo's gonna have to survive a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Careful, Mondo. Right. We jet back over. We jet back over. We move Mondo in. What's in there? A big old psychic droner. Um, Mondo beats it to death. <laughs> we shut the door. Hang on. Shut the door. Forbid the door. Mondo beats it to death. Everyone else, get back in the shuttle. Everyone just get back in the fucking shuttle. Right. The reason I forbidden the door was just so I could set, set it to start loading Mon Mondo without Mondo making a break for it. Go for it. Get back in the shuttle. Go. Right. Mondo, punch. You got a lot of punching to do there, my friend. Is that freaking him out? The scullywag's annoyed. Melee attacking slate door. Oh, he's in. Shit. Um, I didn't think he'd actually get in there, to be honest with you. Oh, God. The one-man mission Mondo, man. I might have made a mistake. It's with a pickaxe. You can do it. Or throw your pickaxe on the floor. Stun it? 
God knows how we did that. Come on, Mondo. Mondo fist fights Mechanoid. Come on. Come on. Heavyweight champion Mondo cannot be stopped by a weak li little Mechanoid boy. Anyway, let's get this smashed. And then as long as he doesn't break... No, stop that. I thought it was Mondo then for a second. As long as he doesn't break... Bear in mind he's extreme risk right now. If we can smash this before he freaks out, we can jetpack him back. And then we're free. Let's, let's go ahead and pick up this stuff so we can do it in an emergency. Um, so, uh, equip that, yeah. And then pick that up as a sidearm. Why am I hitting it with his fist and not the pickaxe? Hang on. Right. Melee weapon. Melee attack. Go. Come on. Come on, Mondo. Don't break on me. You're almost there. Oh, little Mondo. It's all down to you. What I should do, really, is bring him down here. That way, if he does mental break and he goes on a sad wander, it's less likely for him to go outside. Come on. Come on. Come on, 170. You can do it. Come on, don't break. You're a strong man. He's fucking done it. Infection. Mondo's got an infection. They've done it. The psychic drone is dead. Now we've just got to get him out of here. Right, go. Get out of here. Jetpack this man to freedom. Jetpack him to freedom. Go, little Mondo. Okay. Okay, we're not clear yet. We're not clear yet. Clear now. Go. Boom. Get on the ship. Come on, get on the ship. Don't break. Don't you break on me. <sighs> I can't have a notice we didn't refuel the shuttle, but that's okay. It's okay. We don't need it, apparently. Go. Oh, he's only gone and done it. Fucking Mondo single-handedly takes out the entire thing. He has potentially sacrificed his life for it. So bear that in mind. Let's talk about hover mode. How much fuel did that actually take up then? Fuel. Four. 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 And I've wasted about 1,200. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll just set the target fuel level to 100 then. Maybe there's a reason its target fuel level is 100 in hindsight. Bollocks. Now I feel like a fool. Right. 10 to Mondo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best quality medicine for my man Mondo. We've got a hospital bed as well. Um, Let's go wall vitals monitors. Uh, no, just for Mondo. This is this is like intensive care now. Um, IV drip. Surgical instruments. Surgical lamp. I love lamp. Let's do it there. Um, no, no, no. We need that for the vitals monitor. Forget I said that. Uh, surgical instruments there. Cancel that. Surgical lamp. Uh, I love lamp. Put it there. Um, vitals monitor. We've got war vitals monitor. Never mind. I take it, take it, take it back, take it back again. Um, IV drip. On the end. We don't have medicine for it. That's fine. So we've got the vitals monitor, the lamp, the that, the IV drip, the vital center. Oh, we can actually afford that. That's surprising. Um, put that there. Yeah, fine. Um, that's everything, correct? Give him an end table. A nice steel end table to make his journey to death just that slightly bit more comfortable. And then a steel dresser. You both can share that. We'll put another wardrobe down the other end. There you are. For your clothes that you bring to hospital. There you go. Right, Mondo. Uh, tend. Hurry up, little Mondo. I can't believe he did that. I can't believe he pulled it off with one man. These jetpacks are game-changing. No, that was what I was worried about. Oh, fuck. Arrest him. Arrest him. Otherwise, he's going to die. He's actually going to die if we don't arrest him. Mondo, this is Fjorn Good. Come with me. Stop moving, you prick. You're going to die. If he dies now from an infection, I'm going to scream. He saved the colony, but at what sick cost? Right, get him in there. Dr. Don. Dr. Tend. Uh, no, I don't give a shit about him. Ten to Mondo. Go. Best medicine possible, please. How's he looking? Minor infection. 12%. Immunity is six. We're okay. If we can catch it now, he's good. Patch him up. Right, okay, we're fine. And then prioritize releasing him. Get him into the hospital. Release. He's set to release. Okay. Come on. Okay, he's good. Releasing Mondo. Get to the hospital bed right now. Consuming simple meal. Oh, he's still... Is he still freaking out? Oh, he's not. Uh, rest until healed. Go. Oh my god, we can build the vital center. That's big. I wasn't expecting... Oh, we had two spare components, didn't we? Oh, was it just one advanced component for that? It was. Oh, that's fantastic. We used up the last of our plastic on the bloody thing, though. Um, let's get these sterile tiles done. Patch him up. Make sure this boy lives. There you go. One hospital dedicated to you, Mondo, my friend. And he is in a proper intensive care unit. Now we've got the vitals monitor. We've got the vital center. We can't do the IV. Um, we can't quite do the surgical instrument. Apparently we don't have enough steel. But he has all our steel gone then. Spent it on the wardrobe instead. Well, that was worthwhile. 46% spread, 38% immunity. Dr. Don, you fuck this. Who's our better doctor? Zerato. Zerato, take Don's scalpel away from him. He can't be trusted. <laughs> Sorry, Don. You're off the team again, my friend. Oh, he doesn't have a scalpel. Don never had a scalpel. 
shit, we've just basically tended in with a, with a mediocre doctor. It's going to be in the weapons locker, isn't it? Because it was on Mondo. Uh, Zerato, I need you to go ahead and equip that one as a sidearm. You are now head doctor. Who else is on my doctor unless? No, no Don, no Chuckles. Come on, this needs to be a good tend. 65. Oh, Mondo, you may have given your life for the colony, my friend, but at what sick cost? I think he's actually going to die. I think he's actually going to die. We've got 11% on it. It's going to be fucking close. Oh, no, it is catching it. Look. This is horrible. Um, We need steel. We need steel right now. Cancel, 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 cancel. Give me steel. Give me steel. Cancel. Cancel. Right, go. Uh, dun, 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 Go. Uh, work on these. No, 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 no. IV drip. Oh, shit. Surgical tools. They affect... That's 10 quality, right? We're not going to have time for another bloody 10 quality. Shit. What do we need for that? Plasteel. 25 out of 40. Um... I don't suppose we've got anything we can take apart for Plasteel. Bloody Plasteel Meteor. By the time we mine this, he's going to be dead and buried. And his grandkids will be dead and buried. Come on. We can't let him go out like this. He saved the colony, but not like this. Not like this. Not my man, Mondo. How's he doing? 76. He's, it's, it's actually catching up. He's, he's could potentially survive it, but it's going to be bloody close. The wardrobe. The wardrobe will save his life. The sterile tiles. Come on. Go, go, go. Get that done. Come on, it's not much, but it's something. Please. Come on. Never stop, Don. Come on, Mondo. You've got to live. It's in his torso, too. It's not like I can just whip that off. Shit, a 7% in it. He's going to die. He's actually going to die, isn't he? 6%. Holy shit, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. Hang on. No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't kill my man Mondo like this. 2% in it. There's 2% in it. Come on, 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 come on. He's gonna die. You wouldn't. 99, 98. I tried. I really did. I, I did everything I could there to, to, to get him. If only... If only he didn't break when we landed. If he got straight back to the hospital and started getting tending straight away, he would be alive right now. That cuts deep. That cuts really deep. Can we rebuild him? I don't know how the cloning mod works, but I don't think it's... I don't think it works like this. I, it's not... It's not like you resurrect them or anything. The way the cloning works with that cloning mod is that their consciousness is transferred into a new body. I don't believe we can do that. I'm going to put him on ice either way. Oh, that's staggering. There was, there was a percent in it. 99% immunity. That hurts. Can we take the jump pack from him? That's the only thing I want. Jump pack normal. Burn the rest. And bury, bury my friend. Don, you get to bury him. You two, were, you two were closer than anyone in this colony. I'm not even sure that's true. Uh, how does he feel? My friend Mondo died. Shit. That's that's bad. That's really bad. Um, what's what's worse is rather than giving him the burial in the coffin we've just built, you're going to dump him in a, in a dumping stockpile. It's what he would have wanted after all. Get him buried. Rest in peace, Don. Colony savior. Thank you all for watching. Devastating. Just devastating. Absolutely, absolutely just the worst scenario that, that could ever happen. You know, what? not only one of our founding colonists, not only one of our most skilled colonists, but a 99% immunity. We, we, we lost to RNG. Thank you in the meantime to our executive producers over on Coffee for making this heartbreaking series possible in the first place. Thank you to Emily, Moira, Mythomatic, Big Weeb, Layla, Scarlet Bard, Jan, Gwen Gun, Juncture On, Asser and the Cat. My name is Indio, and everyone else at the Executive Coffee Tears. Thank you to those guys. Thank you as well to uh, Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smirt One, Galupo Fruit Hag, Don, Afanifis, Dinosius the Esoteric, Vlabubba, Plumby, Fred, Valo, Consulus, 
Fiddle, piddle, diddle, riddle. And Davidovich. Along with everyone, of course, over at Coffee for their support and keeping the channel going.